Welcome back to a beautiful Wednesday morning here at the Billabong Pipe Masters. The waves are absolutely firing and maxed out. We've seen heavy wipeouts and some solid barrels to kick things off. It crunches you down as we see. An opportunity for Kelly. Air drops, bottom turn, slams on the brakes. It's a stand-up barrel, a back door. Kelly getting everybody on their feet and showing that there is opportunities at backdoor pipeline. He had a ton of room in that cavern. Look at this, free fall drop, comes off the bottom, slows himself down and just, I mean, look how big that wave is. Kelly Slater, two or three times over his head, standing tall in that tube ride right there. Beautiful, off the bottom, just hits the brakes and gets absolutely barreled. So that is gonna be a massive score there for Kelly. Look at this drop right here. The whole board disengages from the face of the wave. Now he sets that inside row. You see that back foot, he moves it a bit forward. Now he's back on the tail pad, slowing himself down. Perfect positioning, perfect timing. Kelly's done that a thousand times before, but makes it look so easy, Joe. Next wave already setting up for Kelly. He'll get out of there. Checking out left of pipeline. That wave just closing out, didn't give him any scoring potential. And coming up next, Fanning going for a fourth world title under pressure to perform against one of the best at pipe. Now back to the Spartan, Michelle Berez, just riding out of his opening way. That was a wild ride there from Michelle Berez. Check this drop here from Michelle Berez. Didn't quite sneak underneath it. And then had the whereabouts just to ride out of that. You don't want to jump off right there, super shallow. Michelle Berez just waiting for that wave to lose a little bit of energy. And now he loves this wave that much. Oh, that drop, just the drop alone, and then slows himself down and just stands in one of the biggest barrels we've seen all day. Talk about spoilers coming into this event. You'd have to be crazy not to think that he's going to uh, be... And making a move for it will be Kelly. Big takeoff, bottom turns, packs a heavy section of pipe. The wave spits its guts out, but he goes down. Let's have a look. Two hands on the board. You can see him. Look how much he's... Uh, using every bit of his ability to get to the bottom of that one. His feet on the left-hand side of the board to get that rail in a bit more as he drives off the bottom. You can see the chandelier right here. It's going to clip him in the head. Kelly ducking for that one. You can see it flicks him off right there. It was a tough one. Kelly likes to pull in the barrel without using his hand on the rail. And in that case, maybe should have. But that drop was super steep. Kind of threw him off balance a little bit. Now he drives off the bottom tries to duck you can see him anticipating getting hit and right there he does so that lip clipped him in the head needed to duck a little bit more maybe use that hand on the rail technique but hey Kelly likes to do it differently it's alive Ronnie Blakey with Ross Williams also enjoying the pipe lineup at the moment is Kelly Slater with Michelle Berez and Kelly finding some nice cover looking to back up a 9.5 from earlier in his heat Medina handled his business, very smooth heat for him, but Michelle Perez during the break, great tube ride for Michelle. And just trying to squeeze out that side door action, so tough to do today. These waves are very big, obviously. Uh, and so kind of heading out of that side door, that doggy door like we like to call it, is really tough. That lip chase butterflies. This is Kelly Slater in heat four. Kelly had a 3.93 to back up his 9.5. Well, Fanning gets an 8.47 on his first wave, but Kelly Slater up now, and he is running his way through this barrel. It's going to get away from him, though. He gets clamped inside of Kelly Slater. Now watch Kelly's body. He's going to try and keep his body away from the wall of the wave. So he's not stalling. See that? How he's almost got both his hands forward. He's trying to stay as clean as possible because he needs every ounce of speed. Eight and a half minutes to go. Kelly Slater fading from the takeoff. Drives off the bottom. Bit of foam on the face of this one. And it gets ugly on that inside sandbar. Kelly kicks out. I'm sharing this heat. Well, here we go. Michelle Perez live action. Michelle. Well, there's that spit that we were talking about. That one unloads a couple of times. And Michelle finds the exit. And here's the replay of Michelle from his last ride. Yeah, just solid. You know, not super deep. But you can see it right there. It actually had a, a second section that pitched in front of Michelle, so he was deep for a second. Arguably the best competitor that there's been in a number of years, as we see Kelly Slater taking off and kicking out. But Mick, well Slater is going to hang on to the lead as the onside announcer counts down heat number four of round three. Slater 
with a 9.5 and a 3.93 will be moving on to round four. Michelle Berez, well, that's his year over. We're going to take a quick break.